People ask all the time, how did I get started with Harrison Blake Apparel? The answer is, I really just fell into it by accident. The thing was in 2013, one of the new accessories that kind of popped up onto the scene and really made a return was the lapel pin. And when that happened, I was one of the people that was interested in wearing a lapel pin just to look a little bit different, spice up my outfits. But when I checked the price of them, they were like $30, $35, $40 for one lapel pin at that time. And I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you. I was on a budget at that time. I was living in Michigan. We're coming out of a recession. I was working in manufacturing and spending $40 for one accessory at that point in my life was a little bit of a stretch. So I decided to do what a lot of people do when they want to have something, but they can't afford it. They decide, you know what? I can make it myself. And after some attempts of making it and trial and error, I was able to successfully figure out what are the different components that go into this lapel pin and started manufacturing them myself. But before I started to sell them to the market or anything like that, I wanted to just wear it for myself. And that's really all it was about, just having it for myself. So there was a major event coming up in my area and I wanted to wear this lapel pin and test it out, see what the response would be. I mean, not a lot of guys were wearing them back then. So I thought either I'm gonna get laughed at or people are gonna like this thing. Especially since I made it, I was wondering if anybody was gonna call me out on it. So what happens is I go to this event and the next thing you know, I'm getting compliment after compliment after compliment about the lapel pin that I made. As a matter of fact, people are coming up to me saying, where did you get it? I would love to get one. And then a light bulb went off in my head. You know, you have that aha moment. And I'm like, you know what? I could sell these things. And that's where the idea came. And that's actually how I came up with the name Wear Lapel Pins too. When I first got started and was trying to find a marketplace to sell these, I was putting them up on Etsy and people were telling me, you know, try Instagram. And at that time, it was kind of a new platform. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know what a hashtag was. Nothing. So I started an account called Wear Lapel Pins because that was the name of my free website that I was using at the time, Wear Lapel Pins, and also selling on Etsy as Wear Lapel Pins. And all I had was lapel pins. And when I first started, I took $200 and I told my wife, you know what, give me a chance because the reason I say that, I've had a lot of different business ideas in the past. Like a lot of serial entrepreneurs, most of them didn't work, most of them failed. And at that time, for the past four years, from 2008 to 2012, I was working part-time as an author self-publishing books, mainly fiction books. So I was making a decent side income doing that. But when I said I wanted to sell a product that would coincide with my latest book, The Life of a Gentleman, my wife was a little bit skeptical. But she said, go ahead, all right, take the $200, let's see what you do with it. That gave me enough to get all the materials to buy. I think it was about 100 lapel pins at that time, about five different colors. We had like red, blue, orange, gray, black, and just kept it real basic. Put them up on Etsy, started marketing them on Instagram. Next thing you know, man, these things are selling. They're flying off the shelves. That's when I knew I had something. My advice to you in telling this story is not to just get on here and tell the history of how I came up with Harrison Blake Apparel, but also to inspire other people. And that's why I do the podcast as well to talk to other entrepreneurs, hear their story. How did they get started? And the funny thing is a lot of times people just kind of fall into this thing. And that's what happened with me. And that's part of my story. Just out of wanting to have something that I couldn't afford and couldn't attain, I was able to have a business idea and get it off the ground. Now that's part one of the story. Now, once these lapel pins started selling, I thought to myself, I got to get more legitimate. It was kind of like a real side operation, just something I'd come home and do after work. But I knew that I was on to something and there was a way I could go to the next level. Part two of that video, I'll talk about how I did that.